that ladies and gentlemen is one of the reasons why you should wear your protective gears on you uh, when you're out longboarding uh, basically that is one fucking cut uh, but it's if you zoom out you can actually see that it's it's not such a big scar when you kind of proportion it out up close it was kind of gory and um, have some scars here uh, bruises here and here but basically these, these are like if you think of the force applied to uh, this, uh, this scar it is not very it's not very much things uh, that I did when you know you like I weigh like 80 kilos 85 kilos and going down a hill at at least like 10 kilometers per hour or 15 kilometers per hour that's a lot of force and landing that force down and having it all stopped by the uh, my hands here just taking all the force and just my elbow specifically my right elbow which is really hurting when well, like I really hit my right elbow and my right side like basically everything just came up here I'm gonna show you my stomach uh, but basically I just came up here and well there it is and just the t-shirt and the thing that I had over it just dragged up and I had my side dragging against the asphalt and stopping me with the coming out like this with with both hands and going over to what also happened was that uh, why I crashed is one, one of the things that you you should pretty much look out for uh, if you're uh, if you're in a city or out in anywhere pretty much and that is sand and uh, it it is used very much in construction if you live in one of the western cities and if it's if, if you live in for example the Middle East or uh, in Africa uh, look out for potholes mostly uh, but uh, like if you if you're in a European city or an American city look out for piles of sand because I know they're they're around there like uh, if there's been construction or somebody has not done the repairs or like people constructions usually kind of leave kind of piles of sand like randomly and um, so I was going down this hill and it was I couldn't see that it was because it's this is to uh, 2 30 in the morning I couldn't really see that it there was sand there so I just kind of rushed into the pile and while why I wasn't going like in the middle of the road or to the other side was because uh, there was like these metal big metal plates uh, of the sewer systems uh, which I preferably go on the asphalt but I mean they're pretty much on the same level as the asphalt so they're not very dangerous to go on uh, but uh, but I went on the side and since the, it, it is on the side and there was no asphalt really covering that area there were just sand sticking up because it but because it was dark I just went over it it stops your longboard sand basically stops your longboard faster than anything else I mean you could hit a fucking brick wall and the sand would be pretty much as good as protecting you or you know stopping the powder power of your longboard so I flew a pretty good substantial way and my side kind of kicked in and my shoulder is still like that is the worst part and the, and the, and the weird thing is that I could not move for like a good 20 seconds afterwards and it wasn't a, at least like two minutes afterwards where I just kind of stood up and was like holy fuck what the fuck happened and the weird thing is that I pretty much like fucked up my shoulder and neck and 
I basically lost my air so much that I I walked a little bit away and sat down for like five minutes just and I started I mean sweating and my vision kind of become became blurred then that those kind of things faded away and then I walked on later and I like lay down on a park bench and just kind of breathed out because my I mean my lungs were kind of fucked up I don't know why and then finally you know I kind of got back to normal so the reasons why you should kind of wear your protective headgears it's not only because to you know protect you from these scars which are not very dangerous unless you don't treat them but uh, they're pretty annoying like they they will hurt hurt like not not this kind of deep hurt that is located in my shoulder here but and my neck uh, but they're kind of these like annoying itchy things which hurt and um, what what I can say is that uh, for example this thing here uh, did not start to hurt before I saw it actually this thing even even if I hit my side here and just kind of smashed it in and it was, it, it was exactly like somebody punched you uh, in the side of the gut or you, you if you played soccer or football I mean something getting in there like somebody's shoulder and just smashing your kidneys or something like that it, it was that kind of pain and that pain kind of went over and how ridiculous it actually sounds uh, the the small bleeding here uh, where there was the least damage to my body uh, was actually the the most annoying annoying thing and right now having this thing is basically uh, the most painful thing but it's going away and the weird pain in my shoulder is kind of the uh, worst part but basically uh, wear your uh, I would suggest anything that has a plastic plating because it takes that punch that is gonna go to your uh, skeleton or I mean your muscles and why that is important is it will kind of absorb that damage I mean you know just uh, you know take that brute force and you know kind of splash it out over your body so that you don't get these kind of traumatizations I mean Plastic is also good to you know if you if you're gonna slide across the asphalt, it's very good to scrape against it and just relieve every da relieve you of every damage. But it it is also good to take that brute punch and not get the kind of kick to your kidneys. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and have a good night.